Let there be light. Ha. Here we are. All right, so welcome to the gym project. <laughs> so we are the proud new owners of the den sports performance facility uh, located here in Allen, Texas. It's been owned by a friend of mine, Bill Bingham and his partners. We've done a lot of photo shoots here and some events, so we have some history with the facility, but the place is amazing and and not that many people know, know it's here. It's uh, it's kind of a I tucked guess, away yeah, secret yeah. spot. But every time I come in, I still am like, whoa like this place is humongo you yeah. know so we've got some plans for what we want to do but we'll kind of show you around on how it is now and talk about the changes that we want to make to to put our own spin on it and and take this place to the next level so kind of the, the trademark of this place is the turf. Yeah, I mean, here's 4,000 yeah. square feet of the best turf money can buy. Most people would think turf is just for the sports and stuff, but it's awesome for like boot camps. and. Jeff Dwelly and I hosted ladies training camps here. Just great to have space. You can do boot camps, you can do group training, you can put chairs on it and do seminars. So that's a big, you know, big part of what we love to do is educational things and events, getting people together. So, you know, in our last two facilities, we've been pretty tight. Mm -hmm. um, and now with this one, we've, we've got <laughs> moving equipment everywhere. Yeah, it's we're like just sitting more. people on the benches because yeah. there is no place to sit. This is a pretty awesome area that they they really opened up about a year ago and it really changed the space for the better. But you I know, almost forget that it was like enclosed. Yeah, it was like it's... kind of closed in office space at one point. So it's really nice and open now. Mm -hmm. But this is about 4,500 square feet of. Uh, CrossFit gym now. We love and respect CrossFit, but it's just not really our scene. So definitely intend to keep the CrossFit function, but we're not the we're not the people to take a CrossFit gym to the next level. We don't eat, sleep, and breathe it. I think that's to be successful and that's that business, that's what you need to be. So we're gonna minimize the CrossFit space so we can you could still do CrossFit training, but you know, my eyes light up when I see like this is <laughs> gym this is weight room baby yeah <laughs> we would just like get rid of a cage or whatever and then keep one and then just full on yeah weights you know there's a ton of great wall space for new logos new branding branding and imagery and anything that we want to do i have too many ideas high ceilings you want to climb a rope i want to keep at least a couple <laughs> you know i need to practice you can't get up there can you we can you a, get up a rope? I don't know this. If it's not wet and muddy, I can. Oh yeah, yeah, the Spartan race. We did a Spartan race together. <laughs> and uh, I'm like gung-ho, trying to climb the rope, but it's like wet, wet and muddy, and I don't get up like six feet. She monkeyed up a 30-foot rope, man. I had to go do the burpees, the penalty burpees. That's what I'm talking about. I gotta do burpees. I totally forgot yeah, about you, that. Yeah, you kicked my ass on that. Yeah, yeah, I did. This is an interesting, uh, an interesting space that we're gonna have to get creative <sighs> on. I know the the one good thing about this is we have a water source right here, um, and there's not currently water fountains, so that will be able, you know, we'll be able to put the two level water fountains water on fountains. the outside. That's good. But we could always this make is, this like a storage or something. Yeah, or either closet or a uh, trainer office or um, or take the wall down and just open it up. So there's options here, but it's an interesting little nook. So I was educated. Uh, these road bikes are really nice. They call these the devil's tricycle, so. Okay, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Which got me kind of excited. Okay, are so we gonna, gonna keep a couple yeah, at least? Yeah, we're gonna least? keep some of these. Yeah, for sure, it's great for group training and I'd like to sign up to get my ass kicked on them. Yeah, I was to about to say, I kinda wanna tricycle. like, Becca's yeah. Like, I would like to know about that. This part of it really excites me. Um, you know, part of our attraction to this 
place is something that, you know, we've been doing through the years is trying to bring multiple disciplines together. At Metroflex Plano, it was really bodybuilding, powerlifting, strongman. You know, no place really housed those three together. And I really tried hard to bring those sports together so that they could have rub off. And same thing at Destination on a bigger scale. But here, man, we've got, you know, we'll have bodybuilding, powerlifting, you know, maybe some strongman if we can. But now we've got the boxing, boxing. and the BJJ and the athletics. but. To me, the boxing is probably what I'm most excited about because like, who doesn't get- Amped up to come in and yeah, like, get some bags or- Everybody grew up getting motivated by Rocky montages. Like okay. that's- <laughs> like, I was not expecting, okay. Okay, <laughs> but okay. But I mean, it's so cool like to think that, you know, you know, we're training for competitions or whatever at the same time that they're getting ready for fights, like to have that energy under one roof is so cool and it's just not, you don't find it together very often. But there's like legit fighters here. Yeah. It's not like just so, just here for Yeah, so Tony Mack. So Tony Mack runs the boxing here, former professional fighter, and he's kind of the go-to guy for for fighting in this area whether that's boxing or all the MMA guys come to train their stand-up fighting here. So they have got an A list of, of real deal fighters that come in here in addition to people that want to use boxing for fitness. So that's why you know, we're fortunate to have, you know, probably about 20 bags, which from my understanding, coming into this, we're already maxed out on. So this area is really doing well. Um, Tony and his team are doing a great job and we definitely intend to keep that and grow that. Which, what's your good punch? You got a good left hook, right? Oh, Wasn't that what D used to always say? Yeah, I got a nasty left hook. Yeah, don't mess with her. She will, not only will she dog you down verbally, but she'll hit you with the left hook. It is like a hundred degrees in here. Um, I gotta get out of here. Do they legit no, do that in we, here, right? We're gonna have to fix this. The uh, physical therapy office turns the heat up and it well, makes this into we'll a hot show box. it at least. I mean, this is the BJJ room. Okay, I, I mean, just, just to get out of warning, this. don't go in there. It's effing hot, blazing. <laughs> oh my God. Man, it is literally like the devil's den in there. <laughs> it is red. It is flaming. <laughs> Yeah, so oh we'll, my. we'll get the heat figured out, but this is a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu room, which I'm, you know, very excited about. Um, it's a pretty hot uh, form of martial arts right now, thanks to UFC and MMA, I think. I'm certainly no expert in it, but I intend to get good at the business. And again, same thing, getting multiple disciplines under one roof, it's freaking exciting. Um, so I know we've got a uh, black belt from Brazil that is the instructor here. So we're not, you know, we're not messing around. If we're going to do it, we're going to do it right. Still have some thinking to do. Yeah, this is kind of a strange hallway. Um, um, at least there's bathrooms back here. If it's, that's perfect for boxing and BJJ, and then like gym can be or across at least, the way. I mean, at least there's plumbing and water, so it gives us options. I think yeah. this is just a closet. It's a closet, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a big one, but when I mean, you buy they something, have to like, yeah. When you buy something, you buy it all. I definitely want to do something with the floor. Is this concrete? I have lots of ideas for the colors. That's all you. She has magnificent taste. <laughs> I do not. Did <laughs> you say magnificent? Yeah. I have a good vocabulary. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> <laughs> This is a super cool thing that you don't see too often. So this is a sprint tunnel. Whether it's general fitness or actually taking 40 times or whatever this, um, or running, you know, sprint drills. Right. Cool. Which that can cater to like a lot of different athletes, yeah. you know? So once again, another. <laughs> yeah, another athlete under the roof. Yeah. Okay, this is a, a cool spot. It's currently, being subleased by Jones Elite Athletes, which is a uh, physical therapy business. They uh, have been in business for a while, so that's nice. I believe the owner plays for the Dallas Sidekicks, professional soccer player. Physical therapy to add to our services, so there's definitely a wellness aspect that we have, but they do they do all the cool services, cupping and dry needling and all that kind of stuff too, on, on top of physical therapy. Well, dang, I didn't know that. Man, we're getting in some good stuff. <laughs> I've always wanted to do the cupping. I'm just like kind of scared. Yeah, so they've got their office set up back here. You know, I'm just brainstorming here, but ideally this may be set into the front where the other offices are. Uh-huh. 
but I don't know. Have, have we ever raced? Like a sprint? I don't think I don't think we have. I put a hundred dollars on the line that my forty time is better than yours. Okay. Is that a bet or no? Or you think I'm faster? I do not think you're faster. Hundred bucks. <laughs> this is what our marriage consists of: constantly betting against each other. <laughs> so we're kind of coming in the back way here, but um, we've got some office space. This looks dangerous. <laughs> uh, these are. This yeah. room terrifies me. <laughs> They like, they like make a little slight hissing noise too. <laughs> we have to figure out. Yeah, but, but it's all because... Yeah, that's the cryotherapy. Uh, yeah. Just the storage. But I think this room has potential for, you know, maybe massage or something. This is just an empty office space. Um, probably turn this into our office. Yeah. Um, just to have a private space for meetings or whatever. But it could also be subleased to see what... See how the demand is once we launch this baby. Bathroom? Yeah, extra bathroom. That's always nothing, nice. Nothing fancy. This is another empty space where we intend to have uh, be the first location in DFW to have body analytics, storefront body analytics, body fat submersion testing. Right now, they body analytics has an awesome truck mobile business where they go to gyms in their truck and they've got one stationary location down in Austin, but uh, we did a deal with Aaron. So it'll be either this room or the room I'm about to show you. I'm so excited for that because I never get it done. Then this is cool. This is ozone therapy, pretty popular therapy for both athletes and folks battling diseases to cleanse. So this is kind of the hot therapy compared to the cryo, which is the cold therapy. So Angelo and his team do a really good job with this, this business. So we're excited to work with them. Um, they've got their spot uh, locked up right now, but um, the owner of the cryotherapy fights in the UFC, Steven Ocho Peterson. We love doing cryo. We've been big cryo fans for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, so it's nice to have that therapy on hand. This little section is kind of strange. It's like an island here, uh, boxed in. I hate it. <laughs> Pull most of these walls down, and then this is where the cardio section is going to be. So. We'll face the cardio into the gym. Um, I think my first instinct was to hang some TVs, but I think I'm living in like 2010 with that. Like everybody just watches their phones, which is nice because I don't have to buy a TV. No need to buy a 60 inch, everyone watches a three inch. Yeah. Put that in the locker room budget, which we should go check those out. That's my favorite part. That's the part I can't wait to do the most. Front desk situation needs to change. We're pretty exposed here. So right now everybody comes in and it's all class-based and there's not just members in and out all the time. So they're able to, security's less of an issue. It's pretty awesome we have so many of these. Yeah, four of these legend racks, which are really nice. Probably put some mirrors up though, huh? Yeah, I don't know about over here because I think maybe we put maybe the power lifters over here more and put the mirrors in the weight room. But you want to make sure there's no ladies in the ladies room? Hello. Ladies. Hello. We're coming in with the camera. Better button it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Better not be naked. <laughs> Holy red. Holy red. Oh, it's a lot. Okay. Well, first of all, I want to get rid of the carpet. And yeah, it could get kind of nasty. Girls are gonna want to be barefoot and like getting out of the shower and stuff. What are you picturing? I don't know. I mean, I wonder what's up under it. Like yeah. if it's just plain concrete and maybe we can... You stay in concrete? I I'm happy that the, the tile, I mean like it's nice and you know the stalls are good and there's showers. so many showers. Four showers, which is incredible. The Metroplex, we didn't have a shower. No. Um, so morning crowd members were never, that was never good business. And then at destination, we only had one in each. So yeah. it was always a line. Yeah. It's awesome that there's space here, but th there's so many sinks and stuff. But I, th I think it would be so awesome to have like a vanity or something in here for like the girls, like a set, uh, like a whole separate like place for them to actually get ready. Because I know like it's washing their hands over the over yeah, their shoulders. Yeah, and or or like right now that is very terrifying that there's a blow dryer by the sink. Mm. Like there should not be a blow dryer, you know. So girls like will have a section to get ready and stuff. This is definitely like potential locker wall right here. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, that is the official tour, and we are so pumped to get all these changes going. Yeah, so we wanted to show you guys where it is now, how we're coming into it. You know, obviously they've done great here and we're excited to take it to another level, but um, I think a lot of people, uh, whether you want to be a gym owner one day or just curious about what we're going to do here, uh, would like to see kind of the transformation process that's going to happen. So you got the tour as is and uh, now for us, the you can hardly call it work begins uh, to yeah. get this place. No, it's fun. Yeah, it's fun. It's going to be awesome. I'm excited.